Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's the girl OG Chizzy Beats. So today I am back in front of the camera and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a smooth, vibey summer afro beat. Something that I could definitely hear Wizkid or Tim going crazy on. So if you're interested in finding out how I made this, go ahead, keep watching, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you guys for 6,000 subscribers and let's go ahead and get into the cook up. Okay y'all, so when you're making an afro beat type beat, Tempo is very, very important. So you need to be anywhere between 90 BPM to 110 BPM. So I decided to use 96, and once I had my BPM figured out, I went into FL keys to come up with a nice chord progression, because y'all know I love a good chord progression. So the chord progression I came up with was this. So I'm gonna try and explain these chords. I'm not gonna lie, there's like one or two chords that I'm not completely sure what it is, but it sounds good. So this first chord right here that we have is a D minor seventh chord, and we know it's a minor chord because it has a two, three, two spacing. And what I did is I took this F and I brought it up here just to give the chord a little bit more sauce, and that is the first chord that we have. Now this chord, I'm not completely sure what it is, but again, it sounds good, so that's all that matters, but I'm gonna try and explain it. So I think that this is a C major suspended chord. Now I'm saying that because it has the three, two spacing, and then we have this A right here. And the reason I think this note, this A works is because really it should be up here and this would be a major seventh chord. But what I think I did is I suspended it by taking it down one, two half steps or one whole step. And then I just have this C up here, which is an octave of the C down here. Then we have this same chord that I explained right here. Then we have a nice, simple and basic major seventh chord because it has the three two three spacing and then we have this chord right here not entirely sure what it is i'm not even going to try and figure it out but it sounds good so all together this is what the chord progression sounds like So I was super happy with that. And once I have my chord progression figured out, now I could start coming up with a melody for this beat. So what I did was I took that chord progression and I went into my favorite VST, my favorite stock VST, Flex, and I picked out the Dark Star acoustic guitar. And what I did was that I just took those chords and I think I added one more note here. And I just played around with them. I just moved the notes around until I found a melody that I like. And that's honestly the easiest way to come up with any melody, like regardless of like whatever genre you're working in, make a chord progression and then start moving the notes around. So after manipulating the notes a little bit, I came up with this melody. So I liked that a lot and the only effects that I added to this was a parametric EQ to cut out some of the low end frequencies and a little bit of reverb. So then I took that same melody and I stacked it up with another guitar, um, again from Flex and it's called the Ace Nylon MK1 and this is what it sounds like. And again, the only effect that I added to this guitar was a parametric EQ, again, to cut out the low end frequency. So together, these two guitars sound like this. So the next melody I decided to add to this was a guitar pluck. So again, y'all, I went back into Flex and I chose a different guitar called the Ace Nylon Light that sounds like this. And I just came up with this simple pluck. And this pluck sounds really cool because of what I did right here with the velocities. So normally without the velocity turned all the way up, this pluck pattern that I came up with would sound like this. But because it's such a good VST, if you turn it up the velocity all the way to the max, it creates this different like pluck sound that sounds like this. And I really loved how that sounded. So again, this is just a simple pluck melody that I came up with and I felt like it really complemented the melody.
And the effects I added to this, again, was a parametric EQ and then I added a little bit of reverb. So once I had that, I went into Analog Lab and chose a new sound called Kalimba Box because the Kalimba is widely used in Afro beats. And I just took that same pluck melody and I put it in the Kalimba that sounds like this. And then what I did was that I rendered it out into an audio file and y'all know I had to reverse it. So I reversed it and I added a whole bunch of effects to it. So I added a parametric EQ to cut out the low end and the high end added a fruity phaser and I turned it down a little bit, added a fruity flangus because I like how it sounds. And then I added a fruity limiter just to turn it up. And then I chopped that up and reversed it in a couple different ways and moved it around. And this is what it sounds like now. So I really loved how that sounded and I felt like it was very needed because it kind of fills in the empty frequencies that the guitar doesn't take up. So once I had that, y'all know I was not done reversing stuff. So I actually reversed that guitar melody that we first went over. And again, I chopped it up and reversed it right here and moved it around. And this is what it sounds like. So I was super happy with that. And what I think is important to note is that the way I placed it is to fill in like the empty gaps that I was seeing in the loop. Like right here, there's not a lot of sound going here. So I placed the reverse right here. And same with this, there's not a lot of sound going on right here. So I placed another chop right here. That's always something to think about whenever you're reversing things and putting them around different places. Once I had that, I was almost done with the melody. I went into um, a Vox that I had and I chose this, these three sounds. And then I got this little like chant. So all together with all the elements, this is what the melody was sounding like. So once I had my melody figured out, I knew it was time to go crazy on the drums. So I'm gonna play the drums for you first and then break it down element by element. So the first thing I added was this shaker loop that I got from Splice and the shaker loop is basically acting like the hi-hats and this is what it sounds like. Then I went ahead and added this vintage kick and it's a very simple pattern and this is what it sounds like. Then I went in and added this rim shot. Now this rim shot is very important because this is kind of what gives it that Afro beat type of bounce. If you want to go ahead, take a screenshot, do whatever of this pattern, but this is like the basic pattern that everybody uses whenever they're trying to create an Afro beat bounce. So then I went in and added, um, started adding perks to add some bounce to this. So this is the shaker that I added. So then I went in and added this open hat and I put it on every offbeat. So like the and, one and, two and, and this is what it sounds like. Then I went in and added some more perks. So I added this perk right here. Then I added this Congo perk that sounds like this. Then I added another perk that sounds like this. Then I added this perk. And then I added this, um, I guess it's a tom drum or a boom perk. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I ended, added this to the end of the phrase and I thought it sounded really cool. It's kind of like a drum fill. And then I went into splice and I added this actual drum fill. 
So once I had that all together, the final thing I needed to wrap this bead up with a bow was a base or an 808. So what I decided to do was use a one shot base called Palace. And this is the bounce for the base that I came up with. Super simple, but very vibey. Alright y'all, so that is how I would make like a smooth summer vibey afrobeat for WizKid or Thames. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see from me next. And I'm going to play this beat out for you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.